Welcome to Pouring Out Cubes. Today we're going to be in Matthew chapter 24. And I hope everyone had an amazing week, uh, and, or last week, and an amazing weekend uh, to end off the week. Um, you know, in Matthew chapter 24, Jesus is talking to his disciples, right? He has been in the temple. Uh, he, he's tells, you know, he tells all of the uh, uh, temple leaders, tells all the people in the temple, he says that not one stone will be left. And, uh, and you know, what he's telling his disciples is he's warning them of a lot of false prophets, right? And he's warning them of these people that are come down. They're going to perform miracles. They're going to say, I am the son of man. I am the Messiah. I am this. I am that. I am this. I am that. But he says, do not listen. Because the uh, what Jesus is telling us, it, what he's telling his disciples is uh, is what's eventually going to happen to the future, to uh, uh to to us right and you know he's not just telling the disciples of that time and i uh, uh because you know clearly the end times did not come uh during that time period right and it may not come during ours and it may not come you know within the next hundred years or whatever but um, but what he's doing is he's passing on this information so that way uh, the disciples of that time can give us the information we need to not listen to all those false teachings and prophets and everything else. Um, so be mindful. Uh, do not listen to people. Uh, make sure that everything someone tells you is backed up by Scripture and is the truth and, uh, and, is, uh, you know, and actually comes from God. Pray with me. Uh, dear Lord, I pray today that uh, each and every one of us, that we go out and uh, we perform, you know, the duties that you want us to perform, Lord. And not only that, but we perform them at the highest of levels, Lord. Lord, I pray that uh, that today you give us the courage to be able to go out this week and, you know, and dominate this thing that we call life, Lord. That, you know, that we're able to uh, to have your power and to be able to show love to the world, Lord. Lord, I uh, uh, I thank you for everything you've done for us, everything you've given us. I thank you for the blessings you've given us and the blessings to come. In Jesus' name, amen. Y'all have an amazing week, and God bless.